More than a year ago, Barack Obama launched his campaign for the presidency, a campaign centered around the idea of change, and change not just in fundamental policy, but change in the way Washington works, change in the influence that money has over how policy in Washington is set. Barack set his campaign at a, quote, high standard. He said that he would refuse to accept contributions from Washington lobbyists and political action committees. And he said that because he believed in a certain principle, a principle about how policy in Washington should be made. Now, that commitment drove an effort by his campaign to secure small contributions to his candidacy, and that effort has been an enormous success. More than two million people have contributed to Barack Obama's campaign, and as of April, they could boast that the average contribution was less than $100. After he became the presumptive Democratic nominee, the DNC also committed to the same principle. It, too, said it would ban money from lobbyists and PACs, creating the impression that the Democrats were standing firm against special interests, and this is the meaning of change in this election. Now, of course, things are not quite that simple. Meet Senator Charles Schumer. Senator Schumer is the chairman of the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, a committee dedicated to raising money to support Democrats as they run for the Senate. And if you ask the DSCC whether it can take money from lobbyists and PACs, the answer from Senator Schumer would be, yes, we can. Or here is Representative Chris Van Hollen. Representative Van Hollen is the chairman of the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. If you asked him whether they could take money from lobbyists and PACs, the representative would say, yes, we can. So Barack Obama and the DNC cannot take money from lobbyists and PACs, while the DSCC and DCCC can. What gives here? Well, the cynics would say that this shows that change is actually no change that can be believed. And the, quote, realists would say that, yes, we believe in change, and change is very important, but we should change when we can afford it, and we can't afford it before this election is over. But most of us look at this image of change, and we see this as no real change at all. Now, many of us do believe in change. In particular, we do believe in change in the way Congress functions. And against the cynics, we believe that change is possible and change is critically needed. And against the, quote, realists, we say that the idea that you can take money to get clean is like taking a shot of whiskey to begin your campaign to end alcoholism. For if we're going to get change in this system now, we all need to commit to this principle of change now. And so we at Change Congress have launched a campaign to get the DSCC and DCCC to commit to the same principles that Barack Obama and the DNC have committed to. We've sent a letter to call upon them to commit to this principle of change to refuse lobbyists and PAC money now either by taking a pledge that says that the DSCC and DCCC will not take money from lobbyists or PACs, or at the very least, to challenge the Republicans to the very same commitment. This first step is an essential step to restore integrity to Congress. And we are calling upon you to join us, to help us, to tell the DSCC and DCCC that, yes, you can commit to this principle. We're asking you to go to our website, change-congress.org, slash, yes, you can, and sign a petition that calls upon these two important committees to commit to this change. Now, we may say this is a small change, but the important thing about this change is it's a change we can start right now, a change that will signal that this election really is a commitment to a fundamental change in the way Washington works. So we're asking you, please, go to our site, change 
congress.org slash yes you can sign the petition and tell the democrats whether you're a democrat or not that if this election is to be the election that changes the way washington works it will require a commitment from all the committees of the democratic party to support this fundamental principle about the way influence in washington will not work anymore thanks very much <laughs>